Hello, my name is Jason Green, founder of the Zermo Open Source CRM project. Uh, the goal of this video is to basically just give an overview, a developer overview of the different areas of the application and to get a basic understanding of certain core concepts within the, within the app that might be confusing to a developer who's first downloading and installing the application. So if, if I, right now I'm using Eclipse, which is the IDE that I use uh, to, to, to develop Zermo. And you can see that when you have your project, you have an app folder, you have a red bean and a ye folder. Now red bean folder just contains red bean and the ye folder contains ye. You would, you would never ever go in here and customize any of the code in red bean or ye. So let's, let's go into the app and uh, take take a look at what's going on. So there's a protected folder, there's a themes folder, an assets folder. So if, if we go into the protected folder, the, the first place to start um, with the, the, the core of the application, the most uh, low level part of the application, is under extensions, uh, Zermo Inc, and framework. So when you're in the extensions folder, you're gonna see some other things in here. You're gonna see e-sanitizer, fusion charts, min script, q-tip, etc. So these are extensions that we might have uh, gotten directly from the Yi extension site or somewhere else and these because they're in this extension folder and they're not they're not in a different area and they're not in the framework folder it means that we haven't touched any of the code in these folders. So eSanitizer is the extension as is Q-tip is the extension as is. Now we might have extended that class and made like a Zermo Q-tip or a Zermo Fusion Charts and that would reside inside framework possibly under um, under under widgets. Okay. But besides that, so if you go into framework, you know, the starting point of framework, really the core of the application, and you know, one of the core pieces is going to be the uh, red bean red bean model. Now I wouldn't necessarily go in there and start trying to figure out what's going on there. What I would do is I would start with the tests. So there's a test folder and I would specifically t start in the unit folder um, and I know there's a lot of tests but basically the great thing about tests is that it, it effectively creates a documentation um, for understanding what's going on. So a, a good starting point is probably uh, the red bean um, red bean model test that's going to explain how the different models work creating records saving records updating deleting um, you have other things too like for example the red bean data provider I'm sorry red bean model data provider test is for like getting lists doing uh, getting subsets filtering and so really getting in here and understanding these different tests and you can just open them up and kind of walk through there's there's comments in a lot of them and really the, the names of the methods themselves should help to have you understand what is going on. And so I would definitely start there. And you'll notice that under unit test there is a couple other things. There's a, there's a model folder which contains a variety of different test models. So for example, for testing Boolean uh, values, we created a Boolean attribute model. And then these models allow us to just create a lot of different tests and cover a lot of different permeations for a variety of different things that are going on in the application. So okay, from Zermo Inc. Let's let's back out a little bit. So then, what 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 you have is because you do have a dependency. So you have that Zermo Inc. Which that framework is effectively like the base level. It's the you can think of it as the foundation in a house. And then from there, you have um, you know the next part, which would be under modules. If you go to the Zermo folder, so all other modules in the application um, depend on the Zermo module. It just means that. Um, there's a dependency so that accounts depends on Zermo, uh, users depends on Zermo. And if we if we look in Zermo, there's there's things in here that are are ex, um, applicable across the application. Like under models, we have currency, we have address, we have file model, which is for attachments. Um, item, for example, I, you know everything pretty much extends item, um, and so that's what we have in here. And and again, I would I would go into the test folder. And, and try to take a look at some of these tests and, and I'm going to try to come up with a list of like tests to look at first because there really is a lot of tests and it can get a little bit overwhelming but then from there from the Zermo folder um, you know after you've taken a look at those tests you know you could go into something like uh, accounts and look at those unit tests as well and I would stick to just the unit test files like these files here um, at first I would kind of ignore the walkthrough tests for the time being and uh, you know, start with something like account test and take and take a look. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is a basic understanding of the dependencies in terms of 
what that means in terms of uh, messaging. So um, the messaging. So for example, if you have, you know, we'll we'll uh, we'll do this. We'll we'll put the framework up here actually. So we'll say that framework is here, right? And then we'll say this is Zermo module. And then we'll say down here is accounts. Okay. So for example, you might have a message uh, maybe like the word yes, okay? Now yes could be in the messages folder in framework. If you look in framework there's a there's a messages folder. There's in fact message folders in all the different modules and the framework. So there's a framework messages folder and then in each module there's a messages folder. So if you're in the accounts module and you need to use the yes message as long as yes is in either accounts, right? So as long as we do something like we'll just oh boy. T right blah blah. blah. All right, as long as the word yes is translated in accounts, Zermo module, or framework, uh, the translation will be right. And the reason it's set up like this is because you have a lot of messages that are reused across the application. And so the idea is, is that you can push back uh, messaging so that you don't, have a, you don't have duplicates. So you don't have the same message appearing more than once in the same module uh, message file. And it just makes it a lot easier and, re and reduces uh, clutter. And that, uh, uh, that this concludes the video for um, this introduction. I hope this was helpful and I will be making more videos. Thanks.